supposed to have some games. Hey guys, welcome back to Classy G Body Garage. So this Andy Cutlass sitting here behind me is the most recent addition to Classy G Body Garage. And if you guys haven't seen the videos when the truck dropped this thing off at my house, make sure you guys check those out. They will be linked in the playlist within this video. I also do the first walk around on this car as well to give you guys an idea of what it looks like. So in this video, what I want to do is give you guys an update on what my plans are for this car. And uh, honestly, you guys are not going to be happy with what I'm about to tell you. So let me do a real quick walk around on this car to show anyone who hasn't seen it just yet uh, the condition of it. And, uh, and I'll basically uh, tell you what my plans are. So here it goes. Uh, it's a real clean car, honestly. Uh, it came from Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, really uh, doesn't have any rust whatsoever. Uh, let me see. It's got a pretty decent paint job on it. It shines quite nicely. Uh, what else? It's got the uh, nice tan interior. Let me open it up here. The doors are in decent shape. The dashboard's in uh, pretty decent shape. It has some cracks here and there. Carpet's nice. Seats are nice. The car's complete. Uh, it does not have a motor in it. I bought it without the uh, motor and tranny. And the deal with that was I told the guy he wanted the motor, but he said he was going to sell it to me with the uh, driveline. I told him I didn't want it because it was just a 305, but it did have a, a relatively fresh transmission attached to it. He, uh, he had an extra set of doors for this car, and he said he'll, he'll give me the doors if he can take the driveline out of it, and that was fine for me because uh, I didn't need what was in here. So uh, you can see it was set up for a Chevy. It has a brand-new Chevy motor mount sitting in there. Uh, close that up. I'll show you guys the doors that came with it in a minute. Open up this side. I've been pulling all sorts of pine needles out of this door. It's got a, a mess of, of crap in this door. I got to get all that out of there and clean those doors out and make, make sure they're nice and dry because I don't want these doors rusting on me. Uh, the doors that the, guys, the guy gave me, he had one sitting back here, so I pulled that out of there. You can get a, a good idea of, hopefully it's not too dark in here, good idea of what it looks like. Yeah, overall, it's a clean car. It's complete. You know, there's no major rust on it anywhere. Let me open up the trunk got the rest of the interior in here a couple a couple of other parts uh, nice uh, back bumper on it so so basically uh, my plan is to part this car out I know you guys are gonna kill me go ahead leave comments that's fine but you know what in the end you cannot save them all sometimes you need to buy a car here and there for parts and that's what this car is gonna be uh, this car is more value to me more valuable to me as parts than it is a complete car. I know it'll make someone else a nice car with probably minimal work, uh, but to me, I would not get my money back out of this car uh, if I were to sell it, just because of the price I paid for it uh, and the price that I paid to have it shipped to me. And also, uh, I'm not about to put another car together because I have so many other cars that I have a part and that need to be finished. So. Yep, unfortunately this car is getting parted out. Uh, I know it'll make someone else a nice car. Hey, if someone wants to make me a nice offer on it, go ahead and throw it out there on the table. My email's at the end of the video. So I need it for parts. The extra set of doors, which let me walk over here and show these to you guys. There's the, uh, the 78, one of my other parts car, and another 78 four speed, which I will get to here in a minute. Yeah. So here are the doors that came with it. They're actually in very nice shape. A couple of dents on the other side, uh, but the door bottoms, which is obviously the most important part to these cars as far as rust goes, they're in nice shape. There's just a little bit of scaly rust on the edge of this one. Nothing too major. Passenger side door is just a little bit worse, but nothing that can be sandblast it we'll dig out the caulk sandblast them and uh, seal them back up paint them and uh, you always want to put a little bit of oil on the bottom of the doors once you finish them all up so the rust does not come back so those are the extra set of doors and those doors are actually going to be sold to my friend who bought uh, 79 Herstol's t-top and I will link that playlist in this video as well so you can check out those videos 
Uh, the interior on this car, I uh, gave you guys a quick look at the interior. The carpet is in pretty decent shape. The dash is in pretty decent shape. Either one of them are, are far from perfect, but a whole hell of a lot better than the interior that's in this car. This is the 78 four speed. Let me open this up. The reason why I got a tarp over the roof is because this is a factory power moonroof car. Let me fold this back. There's the moonroof sitting there. It's metal. So here's the four speed 78. Uh, as you can see, this thing's all tore apart inside. And the reason for that is because uh, this thing was full of mice. This car was just loaded with my, with a mice. The interior was all eaten, eaten up and there was just mouse shit everywhere. So uh, what I'm going to do is clean this all out. The dashboard, as you can see, is in terrible, terrible shape. This car's from Texas. No rust, but the interior's tore up. The dashboard out of the 80 Cutlass is going in this car. The carpet's going in this car. And the seats are going in this car. And any other piece that I can use out of that interior is all going in this car. I know that car has a bench seat, and this car came with bucket seats. But for now, it'll do until I find a set of bucket seats for this car. So if anyone has a nice set of vinyl bucket seats out of a 78 or 79 Cutlass, uh, definitely get a hold of me because I can use them. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, I like I said, it's unfortunate that I'm going to part this car out because it is a, a pretty nice car. The rear bumper on this car is going to be used on the 78 as well because the, uh, the bumper is bent on that car. And this one has a very clean one. And I'm also going to use a couple odds and ends. So basically with this car, uh, like I said, it is going to be unfortunate that I'm going to part it out. But it is what it is because this car is more valuable to me in parts. And you can't save them all. And if anyone else needs parts off this car, uh, post a comment. Uh, go ahead and uh, uh, send me an email because uh, my, to get a hold of me, my email is at the end of e every one of my videos. And you can also message me directly through YouTube. So that's basically it. It's going to be uh, the next parts car for Classic G Body Garage. So make sure you guys subscribe. Go ahead on my channel and check out all my uh, projects. And uh, yeah, go ahead and subscribe, guys. Got a lot going on.